Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with an RS3 HP. I absolutely love these cars and to be honest, you really don't see them around. So when I got the opportunity to film this car, I jumped at it. I love these things, as I said. This car is a stage three car running a hybrid turbo, running around the 535 brake horsepower mark. So some good power out of one of these. And there has been some really nice, tasteful modifications done to this car, a lot of custom work as well. So it'd be good to show you guys that as well. Of course, in usual fashion, we are joined today with the owner, Jay. So we'll get him to walk around everything he's done to it and then we'll go out and experience it but yeah 535 rs38p let's get stuck in okay so we're joined now with jay the owner of this rs3 i'm very jealous of you actually because i love these cars they're very cool how long did you say you've owned it for uh seven years now wow so it's been a real journey real yeah it's just getting old bless her yeah <laughs> but they, like i said they've aged so well really well did you buy a stock as well yeah so yeah. she was stocked for about a year and then yeah. after that it went straight to stage three yeah oh you went straight to stage three yeah. no messing about no messing about of course we've got the bonnet open where we can have a little look around the whole car um in terms of bolt-ons fairly usual stage three bolt-ons yep. um so if it's all right with you if you could give us a bit of a walk around that'd be great okay so we've got auto tech high pressure fuel pump insert yeah inside there we've got zero three four catch can three and a half inch PPH intake, which yep. is three and a half inch all the way into the airbox. Yep. I like most of them, they kind of step up into three okay, and a half yeah. inch from the yeah. elbow there. Got forged front mount intercooler, mm -hmm. automatic injection into okay, the elbow yeah. there. Obviously exhaust, I've got a BCS power valve exhaust. Turbo yeah, back. Yeah, full turbo back. Yep. Um, obviously with a BCS it's operated on boost, as yep. opposed to you don't get under the I've drone. heard good things about the BCS yeah, exhaust. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, the tone on them was really nice. The system wide before that was um, had a Miltec downpipe yep. and Bulex cat back. Mm -hmm. The drone was something else, so really? it's just nice to get rid of that. Yeah. In terms of hybrid, I've got a TTU 510S hybrid mm -hmm. from Turbo Unit from yep. Ben White. And as you said earlier, it's making around 535 yeah, nice. and about 7, 710 newton meters of torque. So nice. That's so solid. Around. Yeah, and that's been built for about what six years. Yeah, so originally I was on a TTE 500 turb hybrid. Okay, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I say that other exhaust system set up. Yeah. And then after about three years, I uh, wasn't too happy with the, the way the TTE was, so I changed mm -hmm. it to Ben's uh, TTU yeah. uh, 510S, which is more better for, for the street because low end yeah. power just picks up a lot quicker. Yeah, then yeah. The TTE was more high end power. Gotcha. Yeah. So in terms of the street, it's just an yeah. ideal setup now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's the stock engine. Stock engine. Yeah. yeah. So it's right on the limits, but yeah. as I say, it's been like that for six years now. Yeah, so. absolutely. Do you reckon you'll end up forging it, going a bit more, or? I don't know. That's the step now. It's either forge it or sell it and move on to something yeah. else. Yeah. It's more than enough power, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but... yeah exactly. Yeah. It's just whether you want to go further on down the route. Um, moving around though, what are we running wheels and brakes wise? Uh, so I've got an AP Radical Revision 2 set up. Originally yep. I had the one set up. For some reason I changed it to the newer one. Don't know why, it's a bit pointless, but I've uh, got 380 mil yep. JUX. Uh, two piece floating discs on mm -hmm. the front, yeah, and then 355 JX on the rear, yeah, 19 inch Os Ligera uh, wheels running Michelin PS4 S's, yeah, all yeah. round. Good choice, good choice. Suspension as well, uh, got Bilstein B16 adjustable yeah. coilovers, nice, very nice, very cool. I actually really like it in white, you know. I'm not normally a fan of white cars, but this suits it really well. I want to say it looks clean, but it's just <laughs> as you know, it's been hammering, it <laughs> yeah, down, mate, so yeah it the weather at the moment is a nightmare. Of course, yeah, around full BCS system, you said, wasn't it? Yeah, full BCS. Yeah, very nice. So it's got cool. a kind of nice burble to it, but when you put your yeah. foot down, that's when it really opens up and gotcha. that's how you get no drone whatsoever, yeah, which absolutely. is ideal. Brilliant. Now, there's a lot of custom work you've done to this car, yeah. as I uh, as I mentioned in the intro. I think we'll get onto that when we're out in the car, because it's yeah. mainly to do with the interior in there, which yeah, looks, that's it. looks really cool what you've done in there. So I think if that's everything from the outside, we'll get it started up and uh, go out for a quick spin. <laughs> I mean, that noise would never get old, would it? No, it can't be the five bar. Never get old. I see what you mean about the BCS exhaust, though, because I've been in a couple of golfs with, with a BCS exhaust, and they sound really good. I can't, I can't deal with drone, so yeah. obviously this ticks all the boxes, really. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it's got a TVS gearbox map on it, stage yeah. three. I think that just hits all the spots, really, in terms yeah. of the shift points on it. I mean, it's, it's essential to do the gearbox as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, do you think it drones? Like, no, not at all. Not at all. And you're still fairly high up in the rev. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's 21 PSI, I think, the valve opens. Yeah. So now we're obviously inside the car. 
we can talk about all the custom bits and all the <laughs> everything you've done in here because there is a lot. Yeah. Of course, the wing backs, stunning seats. Yep. Which you've had retrimmed as well, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I've gone through a couple of interior states really. Originally, everything was silver. Okay. Um, yeah. Silver stitching, and then I've gone down the route of going all. Red everything now. was silver stitching. Yeah, so, so this is all red now. Yeah, wow. so I've got obviously Alcantara, Gator, yeah. and handbrake. I've yeah. got the door inserts all Alcantara. Yeah. The exclu Audi exclusive signs on them. Yeah. Yeah. Got the Audi TGRS R8 steering wheel. Yeah. Um, and I wired the drive select for the sports button for the oh, exhaust. So that, that's all. Oh, it does. So work, that's all yeah. integrated. Uh, the start works as well on the button as well, wow. which you don't really see. <laughs> yeah, don't do it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, incredible, though. Obviously the CarPlay as well. You don't really see this on Audi 8Ps, oh, um, this is all touch well. screen with yeah. integrated uh, CarPlay. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the interior is proper nice. It's so clean as well. Yeah, not bad for a 10 year old car, is it? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the wall meth only comes on boost as well. And then the P3 goes again just to monitor EGT. Yeah, like yeah, absolutely. Is it dependent on the meth or is it? Um, I think it's been mapped in, yeah, yeah. but again, it's, it's only when it's on boost, so. So you don't drink through it, which is no, nice. No, no, that's quite nice. <laughs> Oh, I see when the valves open, yeah. Yeah, so obviously you only get the noise when you want to plant it. Which yeah. Is, it's not ideal, really. And it's still not on like an overbearing no. tone, is it? But I've, I've had people on the outside of this car and it doesn't sound that loud in here still, but mm. people outside, it's like it's mental. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've still not yet to hear it from outside, so. Yeah. So I think the suspension, it feels like a go-kart, and I mean, yeah. as I said before, it's got a 034 manual roll bar on the rear, which sorts the handling out as well. Yeah, and obviously the coilovers are going in as well. <laughs> it's a symphony. Yeah, that hand was really well in the corners. <laughs> is there any other bits you've done underneath, or is it literally just the uh, roll So bar? yeah, so it's got all Powerflex, um, bushes on it and uh, it's got an anti-lift kit on it as well. The subframe has got a, um, a dead set kit on it which because these are quite prone subframes moving so that just yeah. aligns everything up. Yeah. Again just to stiffen everything up. It's got dog bone mount on it as well. Been to town on it then? Yeah as, as I said earlier it's had our right money spent on it but yeah. you know it's it just ticks too many boxes you know. Yeah that's it you still got the practicality yeah. and the character for sure. Yeah that's it and as I say you don't see many of them on the road either do you? So. Yeah exactly. So in terms of the engine you said on the walk around that you're fairly limited in terms of the engine itself you could forge it. So it's generally the talk uh, that yeah. kills these engines so yeah. um, I mean I've been about 700 newton meters for the last six years and yeah. touch wood it's, it's been yeah. all right yeah. but yeah so yeah. Yeah. any more it's um, you want to start looking at forging it really. Do you, would you keep the same turbo kit do you reckon? Maybe. Um, gonna... I think if you forge it you've got to go big turbo. Yeah, I think, got done, got yeah. Correct answer. <laughs> It's just so point in the shoot though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I do love the outfield. It does sound so good though. Yeah, for me, the exhaust, I think, it's the closest exhaust you'll get to an Audi 8, uh, 8V RS3. Yeah, that's true um, actually, yeah. Especially when the valve opens. Yeah, it's just raspy. And yeah. I don't think a lot of valve exhausts, they drone and like they're just like in your face. But just like this so is, much yeah, noise. This yeah. is just the sweet spot. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a really nice thing inside and out. I, I rate it. One hell of a thing and it makes decent power as well. Yeah, And it, it handles it, that's the main thing. Like you can chuck so much power at a car. If you haven't got like the brakes to support it and everything, it kind of makes no sense. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, it's a well set up thing for sure. For sure. And thank you for coming down and uh, to get it on the channel. Love it. Cheers, always, always a pleasure to, to get one of these on the channel. But um, of course, if you guys want to learn more about the building, you can find Jay's Instagram linked down in the description down below. Um, but yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Until next time.